Wow, it actually did all that research and created this amazing document. That is incredible. Anthropic just released Claude Cowork and it might just be the most powerful AI tool of all time. It's like Claude Code, except it's an AI employee that works for you 24 seven doing anything you want on your computer. I'm about to show you several use cases that will save you time, save you money and make you more productive than you ever have been before. In this video, I'll go over what Claude Cowork is, how to use it even if you've never used anything like it before, and show you some use cases that you can use immediately to get amazing value out of it. Let's lock in and get into it. So this is Claude Cowork and it can do some absolutely amazing things. But right before we get into the demo, I want to talk about what it is, how it works, and what makes it different than Claude and Claude Code. There are some major differences here between Claude Cowork, Claude Code, and just regular Claude. The main thing you need to and you can pause here and look at this if you want, but the main thing you need to know is Claude Cowork is basically an employee that controls your computer and can output anything you need. Documents, slideshows, code, it can create things, it can research for you, it does everything. It basically takes the best of just regular Claude, like if you just go to Claude.ai and Claude Code, which builds you apps and writes you code, it takes the best of both of those and puts it into one app. It's basically basically Claude code, but for regular people, right? Claude code writes you code and basically does anything you need that is code related. Cowork is the same thing, except it not only works on code, it builds you anything you need at all. So it is your 24 seven employee. While Claude is a researcher that does research for you, Claude code is a developer that writes code for you. Claude Cowork does everything. Research, write code, execute code, create files, whatever you need, it does it. And the coolest part about all this, I think the biggest differentiator between Claude code and Claude is it controls everything. So it can control your computer, it can manipulate documents, it can control your browser, it has its own virtual environment where it will do things on its own. It literally is as if you hired someone and they had their own computer and did whatever you needed. So there's a lot here, you can pause if you need to, but the main thing you need to know is Claude Cowork takes the capabilities of Claude Code but applies it to all the use cases you can think of. It's Claude Code but for everything and that is a big game changer and let me show you why. So Claude Cowork is available in the Claude desktop app on Mac, only on Mac at the moment. So you download the Claude desktop app and you now have this new tab here for Cowork. You click on that, you're in Cowork. You do need to be on a Mac's plan. So either the $100 or $200 plan to get this working. Although there is currently a wait list for the $20 plan as well, so that you can use it on the cheaper tier. Here is what the interface of Claude Cowork looks like. Very, very simple. You have your basic chat, gives you some examples of what it can do. So it can build and create apps just like Claude Code, but it can also do other things like create files for you, organize your computer, create documents, slideshows, send messages, send emails, control your browser, do research, whatever you need, it can do it. So I have four use cases I'm gonna show you. All four of these you should be able to use the moment this video ends and get incredible value out of it. But let's start with a really simple one. I'm sure this is one everyone watching the video can use, and that is organizing the files on your computer. So let's real quick go into this. We have the option of choosing a specific folder we want Claude to work out of. If you're anything like me, your computer is absolutely littered with images, screenshots, thumbnails. Like you can see that this is my downloads folder and literally the first 15 files are images and screenshots. Let's have Claude organize this for us. This is an absolute mess. If you had me go back right now to try to find a specific image, I, no way I'd be able to do it. So let's open the downloads folder and let's say this and I'll put this prompt down below if you want to steal it. So I'm going to say go into that downloads folder, take all the images images and screenshots and put them into a new images folder. Organize that images folder any way you want. And I'm gonna say, let's go. And now our agent is going to spin up, go into that folder on our local computer and actually go through, look at every file in that downloads folder. I've had this computer forever. So there's probably thousands of files in that folder and actually organize it, take all the images, put them in a separate folder and organize our computer for us. So as you can see here, there are a lot of files. Let me look at all the images 
found 369 image files. Now it's creating its own folder and organizing everything. What's really cool here is you can see on the right hand side, it keeps a to-do list. This is what makes it very agentic is it figures out a to-do list. It tracks its progress against that to-do list and it's constantly reflecting to make sure it's on task and doing what we need. So over on the right, you can see it's to-do list. You can see any artifacts it creates. So if it creates any documents, slideshows, anything, we can see that here and we can see the context. So it's working out of our downloads folder. And you can kind of imagine the workflow as we get into this right now, which is you wake up in the morning, you have your list of tasks you want to give your 24 seven AI employee. You give it to Claude Cowork. It gets to work. It tracks all the progress to do list. You come back an hour later and absolutely everything's done for you. This is really a whole new paradigm of working with AI, which is incredible. So it's taking a look at all the images. It's it's actually opening up the images themselves, seeing what they are, and then putting them into meaningful subfolders inside our downloads folder. It's basically having a cleaning lady in my computer just organizing it for me, which is pretty amazing. Done, I've organized 370 images from your downloads folder into this new image folder with 10 subfolders, wow. Duplicates, thumbnails, photos, miscellaneous, web downloads, AI generated, design projects, logos, screenshots, GIFs. If this worked, that would actually be incredible. Uh, okay, we have our images folder here now in downloads. Let's open that up. There's all our subfolders. Let's see, let's look at our thumbnails. It's gonna have all my YouTube thumbnails in it. Yep, there's all my YouTube thumbnails. Let's open this up to make sure. Yep, there it is. There's one of my, I'm sure all of you love my YouTube face. Get tons of feedback that people are big fans of the YouTube face. Uh, I love it. That is incredible. Our entire downloads folder is now organized, but that's just table stakes. That's as simple as, I wanted to start off with an easy one for you, even though I think that is absolutely incredible what I just did. Let's get into the second use case, which gets a lot more interesting. So I'm gonna go into a new task here. Let's spin up a new AI employee to work for us here. So if you're anything like me, maybe you're an internet entrepreneur, Maybe you have a couple different content channels that you create. Maybe you're on Twitter, maybe you're on YouTube, maybe you're on X, and maybe you're just getting started and you're thinking about potentially getting sponsors. Well, one thing that's very important if you're trying to get sponsors or make money online is you have some sort of media kit, whether it's a presentation or slideshow that just explains what you do, what you talk about and who you're about. This is a great use case for Claude Cowork. And also, by the way, if you're not into entrepreneurship at all, feel free to skip to the next use case if this is not as relevant for you. I wanna make sure the time you spend on here is relevant, but let's talk about building our own media kit if you're trying to get your first sponsors online. So here's the prompt, and I'll put this down below. Feel free to take this, put in your own information there, whether it's a YouTube, Twitter, newsletter, whatever you're running, you can use this prompt. I have a newsletter with 40,000 subs called Ship It Weekly. Please go to my newsletter site, alexfin.ai, and research it. Then make a media kit presentation for me that I can send to potential sponsors. This is another amazing use case for Claude Cowork because building this presentation probably would have taken hours before and require amazing taste and design skills. This is something I can spend 10 seconds writing this prompt, send it to Claude Cowork, go off and do something else, come back a few minutes later and have all the work done for me. Hours saved just like that. I'm gonna hit enter and it is going to get to work for us. This is also going to demonstrate a lot of the really amazing capabilities of Claude Cowork. It's showing you all the tools it's using over here. So it is using the web search connector. So it is going online. It's using its own tool to search the web and get current information. If you just go to Claude.ai and say, hey, build this for me, this wouldn't work because Claude doesn't have access to current information on the web. Claude Cowork though, actually has direct live up to the moment information about what's going on in the web. If I sent a newsletter five seconds ago, it would have access to that. Claude.ai wouldn't. So that's a really big strength of this tool. Another amazing thing here is it uses Claude skills. So it takes its entire skill system from Claude code and integrates it into here. So if you have specific skills or instructions for things you want your AI employee to do, you can create your own Claude skills file that it will use. Another huge strength of Cowork. It takes all the best things about Claude code, all the best things about Claude.ai and puts it into this one tool, which is incredible. So it's setting up the presentation. It's gonna create all the slides for the media 
media kit. It's going to generate the PowerPoint file and it's going to validate it. That's amazing. You can already see some of the artifacts getting created. So if I come back here in a couple hours, I can quickly look at this sidebar and find every single file it's created for me. All right, look at this. Looks like it's done. That took all of like four minutes. That's pretty amazing. I'm going to upload this into Google Slides so that we can share this. I don't have any of Apple's slideshow software on my computer. Here we go. Ship it weekly media kit 2026. Let's zoom in here. Okay. AI made simple. So got the uh, catchphrase from my website. That's amazing. About ship it weekly, weekly beginner friendly guides on how to improve your life with AI. That's accurate. Newsletter highlights, AI tutorials, one or two emails per week. It's on Substack premium tier. Okay. So it figured out what's in my premium tier. That's amazing. By the This actually looks pretty nice. By the numbers, 40K subscribers, 45 open rate, 8% click through, 21. This is, I don't even know how I got this. Uh, average reading time, five minutes, 80K monthly impressions, engagement. I don't even know how I got all this. That's pretty amazing. Our audience, this looks good. Sponsorship options. I didn't, they even came up with the tiers for the sponsorships. That's pretty amazing. And then let's work together. Wow, pulled my email. I don't know how I got that. Website, all that is amazing. I mean, that's fully done. I can now take this and send this off and send this to potential sponsors. I don't even know if there's anything I change on this. I'd probably put in my own logo. That's not my logo. Maybe that's a Substack logo. Uh, but this is actually really amazing. And you saw beginning to end everything I did. I put it in like two sentences. This is something you can do immediately right now if you have any sort of content channel. Incredible. That's like literally two hours saved just like that. Just, just like that. Anytime you have presentations, documents you need to create, this is the way I do it. This is awesome. I have two more use cases I want to show you. One is financial tax seasons coming up. So I'm going to show you something a little more financial related. And then I'm going to show you one around building apps. I'll show you an amazing prompt and workflow you can give Claude Cowork. That is amazing if you're an app builder, which is only appropriate because this is a channel about creating an entrepreneurship. If you learned anything at all so far, make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. All I do is make amazing videos about AI. Also, if you want a community of AI builders, the Vibe Coding Academy, link down below. You'll work with hundreds of other builders in AI, learn a ton, meet cool people, link for that down below. Let's go into the third use case though. This is a good one for, I bet, everyone watching this video, and that is going to be the ability for Claude Cowork to manage your finances for you. So what I just did here is I dropped in a statement from last year for my credit card. And what I wanna do, if you're anything like me, you have tons and tons of subscriptions. You're subscribed to a hundred different AI tools. You're subscribed to a hundred different marketing tools and just things you probably haven't used in a while. What we're gonna do is we're going to have Claude Cowork go in, go into a credit statement, look at all our purchases, all our subscriptions, and then make a spreadsheet of all our subscriptions for us, and then guide us on unsubscribing from those subscriptions so we can save money. This will save you money right off the rip. So download a statement from your credit card site, and I'm gonna say, go through my credit statements and make a spreadsheet of all the subscriptions I have. Then make a column for the cost of the subscription and a column that explains how to unsubscribe. Let me know how much I'd save by unsubscribing to everything. And I'm going to say, let's go. Boom. Took me literally 10 seconds to drag those in and put that prompt. And what we're going to get at the end of this is a whole spreadsheet that will probably save us legitimately thousands of dollars. This will pay for the entire Claude Code subscription in this one prompt. Wow. And that took maybe 30 seconds tops. It already found all the subscriptions. I hope I have nothing embarrassing here, but let's take a look. Uh, Google storage, Google domains, WordPress, YouTube TV, invoice simple. I don't even know what the hell invoice simple is. I'm paying $5 a month for it. WordPress. Oh my God. I haven't managed my WordPress site in like four years. I'm paying almost a hundred dollars a month for WordPress. Hype Fury. Oh, I built my own replacement for Hype Fury. I'm still paying $20 a month for it. Zoom. I haven't been on a Zoom call in like a year. I can probably cancel that. Elementor. No way. I'm paying $64. That's a plugin for WordPress. I'm spending like $200 a month on WordPress and plugins. Uh-oh. Adobe Creative Cloud, of course. I have no idea how to cancel that. Blizzard, I think that's my World of Warcraft subscription from like five years ago. I got to cancel that. Okay, so we have a lot of things here. Let's see what we got. I'm spending $16,000 a year on subscriptions. Holy hell. If you run this, let me know in the replies how much you're spending on subscriptions. All right, looks like they made a spreadsheet for me. Let's open this up in Google Sheets and see what we got here. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so we have our subscriptions. 
and then we have the monthly cost, and then we have how to unsubscribe. Wow, it went in and it showed us exactly how to unsubscribe from each. So now we can just go down each one uh, and un unsubscribe as needed. That's amazing. Just like that, that literally took, I think, three minutes tops. We're already saving thousands of dollars a month. Incredible. Definitely make sure you do this exercise with Claude Cowork. There's no excuse not to be doing this. And the last prompt and use case I'll give you here is one for the vibe coders if you've ever built anything with AI. And that is a project research prompt here where Claude Cowork will go in research an app idea you give it, judge the idea, validate the idea, find competitors, give you a report on the competitors, write you an entire PRD that shows you users you're gonna target, the MVP you should build, a prompt for Claude code, it's gonna search for domains that are available, everything. This is the everything prompt if you are a vibe coder or build with AI. So here's the prompt here, all the prompts for everything I showed you is down below, so feel free to pause, take the prompts, run this with me inside code. Work. I have an idea. We'll plug in an ID here. 3D AI agent manager, like a RTS game. Run it through full validation. Research competitors, analyze the market, identify strengths and weaknesses, then create a professional PRD document with charts and tables that include target user, core user loop, MVP scope, tech stack, timeline, naming domain suggestions, launch strategy, and Claude code starter prompt. In just that one prompt, just those couple sentences right there, we'll now send our 24 seven AI employee off to go validate the idea, build us an entire report, get us prompts to build the app and everything else we need to successfully launch and run an app. So as you can see, the agent goes, it searches the web, it does research for me, it finds live information and it's gonna put together an entire report for me. And what's great now is I can go off and do something else. If I wanna kick off another task for an agent to do, I can do that. If I wanna switch to code and start building an app, I can do that. If I wanna go to the gym and come back to a fully built out report with prompts ready to go, I can do that as well. The time and money savings are incredible with this tool. So look at these steps it took. Research competitors, analyze the market demand and validate the idea, assess technical feasibility and monetization. So it's coming up for plans for monetization for us. And now it's creating the professional PRD. Let's see what we got here. Artifacts, agent PRD. Okay, so it made the PRD. It's loading up the document, which again, because this is co-work, this is on my local computer, I can open this up right now. It doesn't store it in the cloud, doesn't make it an artifact in the cloud. This is on my computer, this document. And you can see here, full market analysis, the combined TAM, the competitive landscape, look at this. SWOT analysis, that's pretty amazing. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, targeted user. This is a 14 page PRD. It created core features for the MVP and gave me the entire tech stack. That's amazing. Look at this, Claude Code starter prompt. So I can just take this prompt, give it to Claude Code, and it'll start building app. If I want, I can just have it build it right through here because Cowork can both write and run code. So it's the best of Claude Code and all the other Claude tools. Here's how I came up with these use cases and here's how you get good with this tool is you wanna challenge yourself. You need, even though you don't know how to use it just yet, although you just learned a ton in this video, I'd imagine, leave a like below if you did. The best way to learn these tools is to actually use them. So do yourself a favor every day this week for 10 minutes, you only need to do 10 minutes a day, Go in for 10 minutes a day, use the app, brainstorm things you can do. If you don't know what to do with Cowork, say, hey, this is my day, how can you help with this? Send that in, and then just for 10 minutes a day, spin up tasks in Cowork, come back later and see what it did. If you do this for a full week, I promise you'll be really, really good at using this tool and you'll save a ton of time and money. This is awesome and it's only V1. It'll only get better from here. I can't wait to see where it goes. Learn anything at all, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. All I do is make amazing videos about AI. If you wanna join a community of Vibe Coders, link for the Vibe Coding Academy down below. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.